Welcome back. So with all the information we have now, we should be able to start making a small program here, um, a small, let's call it a menu, right? So inside the console ad, I'm going to list a few commands that you can actually do, and then you'll type what command you want to execute, and from that we'll do something in the future. But let's start out with just making a string array here of menu items. We can list all customers, add a customer, delete a customer, edit a customer, or exit the program. That's kind of the items I want shown on my beautiful console application here. Now, why am I not using a list here? The reason is pretty much that I already up front have defined all the items I need in the menu. So I don't need to either extend or um, shrink the list later on in the program. I just want to keep it this size all the way. That's when arrays really shine. So let's start out with just making the for loop. So we'll make it for each loop here. I'll double tap. And I want the item be called uh, menu item inside menu items, right? So that's going to run over each of the menu items. And then I pretty much just want to console lock them. Console lock, oh, pfft, right line, of course. Sorry about that. And there I want to uh, write um, menu item like this menu item. So with the for each loop now, if we run this, we should be able to see each of our menu items. Let's just do a console read line here. There we go, read line, boop, 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 just to keep the program running. And uh, I'll also make a write line where I'll do something like uh, select, select what you want to do. Like this. I will <laughs> we'll make it more shiny later. But let's just start the program just to see that this actually runs. Here we have the different menu items, and now I should be able to select what I want to do by pressing a read line. But that's not done yet. But this is the beginning. Now we have a list of all the different items we want. One thing I want to add to this right away is actually I want to add so that it has a number in front of each of these menu items. And notice that's actually where a for loop is better than a for each loop. And let me try and show you what I mean here. So I'm going to convert the for each loop into a for loop. Let's just do it right below so you can keep them both there. Double tap, I have a for loop now, and here I actually have the index number available. I don't have that available in the for each loop. Notice the difference? So in this case, what I want to do is I want to do the same thing, menu items dot length, to run over each of my menu items like we did earlier. And then for each of them, I actually want to print more than just the menu item itself, which will be menu items at I position, right? I actually want to in front of it say, like this, I want to add a colon here, I want to add a plus, I want to add the I here in front of this, meaning that I actually want to put in the position, so press 0 to do this, press 1 to do this, bam, 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 all the way down. Try and run the console app, and notice that now I get my list here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. How do we fix the one where I want the first one to start with actually a 1 instead of 0? Try to consider that, how you would do it. Let me, while you do that, I'll just remove this one because we don't need that anymore. You know what? I'll comment it out so you guys can grab it later if you want to. And then this is the one we're working with here, right here. Um, what I want to do is actually I want to, I could do it in a lot of different ways. I just want to add one here. So it'll say I position plus one. I notice I put in the parentheses to make the arithmetic add before I combine it with a string. So let's see if this actually solved the problem for me for now. And there we go. One, two, three. I also want kind of a new line in between here. So let's just add an extra console read line here. Uh, sorry, write line right here that just puts in a blank space just to get an extra space here. There are other ways to do that as well. And we will start working on this slowly. There we go. Now we have a menu, right? Yay, a menu! If I press one and press enter, nothing happens, of course, because we didn't finish up. But now the menu is there. Let's continue next time to actually build on this menu and use a few things that can make this easier to work with. Have fun.